Police Department reopened a more than 60-year-old cold case on the death of Shreveport civil rights activist Ann Brewster. NBC 6's Maya Nicholson joins us now live sharing what they found after revisiting the case. Maya? Good evening, Dan and Jackie. The original investigation of Ann Brewster's in-home death ruled that she died from a self-inflicted gun wound, ruling her death as a suicide. However, the community members then and now believe that she did not end her own life and pushed to reopen this case. SPD agreed to revisit the investigation and have been working with a special task force over the past four months. The SPD investigation team and the Caddo Parish Coroner's Office announced at a press conference that they did not find any evidence that the original suicide ruling could be overturned. Investigators said due at the time from the shooting, some evidence was no longer available or able to be reviewed. They did not exhume Brewster's body or request an autopsy. The team shared their findings from revisiting photos, police reports, and even the multiple paged claimed suicide note last written by Anne. They did not speak with any family members or close friends. There were a lot of unanswered questions in the community. And needless to say, when we got the, the information that we have, and I'm going to be the first one to say, I don't think we were able to obtain all the evidence that we would need to make a definitive conclusion. Um, but the evidence that we did have after 60 years was consistent with this being a very unfortunate suicide. SPD's special appointed task force for investigating this case included officials from local and national law enforcement agencies and investigative teams. Now, although this case is now closed, SPD, the coroner's office, and their investigation team say they are still open to receiving any information that will help lead them to a clearer resolution. Reporting live in Shreveport, Maya Nicholson, NBC6 News. Thank you very much, Maya.